All right, guys. Today's video is going to be on my uh, Motorola Droid Razor Max, and I'm going to show you guys how to root the Jelly Bean OTA update. So, what we're going to do is kind of go into settings and just make sure that everything's correct. About phone, and you're going to see down here that I am actually on the Android version 4.1.2, which is Jelly Bean, and this is the XT912. So make sure you are running that system, um, which is, like I said, the OTA update that got leaked on Christmas Eve. Um, and then the other thing you want to do is you want to go down here to developer options, and you want to make sure that it, right here it says USB debugging. Make sure that is checked. Okay, those are some pre uh, prerequisites on this deal. So uh, you want to make sure you're running that. And obviously if you're not rooted, I can show you right here. This is root checker and we're going to verify root and it says sorry this device does not have proper root access so now what we're going to show you how to do I'm going to put this phone down what you're going to do is you're going to download this file right here which is uh, Razor Blade this is a root utility I will give you links in the video description down below here um, to this and everything else you're going to need Motorola drivers you want to make sure you have plugged your phone into your computer and gone through all your USB modes and make sure they're worked and do that also with USB debugging turned on like I showed you here in settings developer options right here so make sure you've plugged your phone in you've installed all the drivers you need make sure that part is already done once you've done that just uh, download this file right here and inside of it has BusyBox super user APK your SU binaries and this right here run which is a run.bat file you can see right here batch file so we're just going to click run and then you're going to agree to this right here and this is going to come up so basically before continuing ensure USB debugging is enabled which we did that you have the latest motor drivers installed which I do um, and everything's good so what we're going to do is we're going to at this point go ahead and connect the phone so I'm gonna plug it in here and it is now plugged in well let me show you this while that's doing that um, basically you're gonna go down here and the direction says make sure um, <clears throat> that it is not in let me show you here media connection make sure it's not in mass storage mode right here on top sorry if you can't see that right there make sure it's not in that you want it to put put it in media device so make sure your USB connection is in media device so you can pull down from the top to see that and then hit connect mess media device and that's what you're in so that's the mode you want to be in so now you can put the phone down now let me see if I can get my computer to work okay so um, we've hit run so we should have the command window up right here so you've done all your prerequisites and we're going to press any key to continue. So I'm just going to hit the space bar. And you can see what's happening here. It says waiting for a device. Device found. Phase 1. Rebooting device. Mm -hmm. So your device just turned off. And is now turning on again. Alright. So we're just going to let that um, run. Uh, let's see. There we go. So it has connected. But it's trying to... Uh, there you go, boot animation. Alright, so it's booting back up. And it says waiting for phone to reboot. And we're just going to wait for this to go through. Our device is rebooted. And we're going to unlock it. And then this is what it says. It says complete the following steps on your device. So open smart act action application so that is smart actions right here so we opened it and it's gonna go through this process here so get started um, next alright so then it says to select battery saver so we're gonna select it and then we're gonna hit at the top it says save we're going to save it. 
Okay, so it is saved. And then we're gonna hit the home button. So we've done those steps, which according to our directions in our command prompt window over here on the side, it says press enter here once you have completed the above steps. So we're gonna push, it says press enter. So we're gonna push enter on the keyboard. And let's see what happens now. All right, so it pushed some kind of file and it says it's rebooting the device. So we're going to shut off. All right. And it should be rebooting up. So we're just waiting for this thing to reboot up. And we'll see what the next step is. So it just connected. You can see that even though the screen hasn't even hit the booting animation yet. But it did connect to the computer. You heard the noise. So boot animation again. Droid Razor. And let's see what we got here. Still waiting for phone to reboot. Should be any second now. All right, phase three. This will take a minute. So, like I said, we're just waiting. Phase three. This will take a minute. So just sit and wait. Rebooting device for the last time hopefully let's see how it goes alright there you go rebooting um, just remember guys that um, <clears throat> you want to make sure that you have good battery life when doing this you don't want this thing to kind of mess up in the middle and die or something on you so just be patient on it let it do its thing you pretty much just leave it plugged in and it, it just does it all pretty simple pretty easy all right, so it connected again. Here's your boot animation. Let's let it go through the boot animation. I think after this process is done, right here, it should stay on. Normally, that's what happens. It stays on, and then we can check root um, and see if we have root on this device. So it says cleaning up. It, it looks like it, uh, phase four, it pushed a bunch of files to the phone and it's cleaning up so we're just gonna let it finish hopefully no more reboots hopefully we're done oh, rebooting again reboot at numero four I think that is here let's uh, see what happens there we go it's gonna pop up that window again so I'm gonna get ready to click it down Boot animation. And be impatient. We have rebooted. And it says uh, exploit complete, complete and press any key to exit. So we're going to hit the space bar. And it closed out the application. And we're going to open up our phone here. And I'm going to just do one quick thing check for root alright and let's uh, verify root well I'm actually unplug this thing because it's getting annoying and it says verify root alright so root checker congratulations your device has root access you don't need to use root checker I'm just doing that to show you guys so let's go into application drawer and right here you see super sue application and there you go we're gonna update our sue binaries they're updated and wham bam thank you ma'am your jelly bean uh, official OTA update is now rooted it's now rooted sorry about that I have a problem with that word sometimes there you go so thanks for watching guys I hope you guys like this video um, as always please uh, subscribe down below check out my web page right about there and um, that's it, man. That's the Droid Razor Max or the XT912. And you have root on it. And we are good to go. Thanks for watching.